end up getting these two outfits from Amazon and I actually did an entire video on these. I have a black set and then I have a brown set. So yeah, go watch that video if you guys wanna see how these actually look, but I am gonna wear one of these today. I'm kinda of debating, like I don't know, like which one should I do? Such great quality, like, Matter of fact, let me show you guys. Let me set you guys up. Black one. Okay. So, like, this is the black one. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. And it has, like, the uh, faux drawstring on it. Cute rib material. And then this is the black pants. But they are um, butt lifting pants. So, you know, they make that booty look nice and tooted okay make the root of tooted look tooted <laughs> yeah i got my ponytail done and i decided to do some uh press ons because i want to girl one of them came out like crooked but who gonna stop me who gonna check me for my crooked nail nobody ready i already started putting on my brows because i knew i was gonna be pushing for time i fucking knew so i already put on my brows and they look real real good brows are gonna real loud okay so ponytail looking slay she's looking fresh because that ponytail i had earlier you can't tell me it wasn't looking greasy i knew it was looking greasy it was heavy it was stiff it was greasy it was done for me and my friend we end up pushing our dinner reservations back to 6 30 because she oh sorry if my background seems a little loud because i got my washer and my dryer going at the same time but your girl gotta have clean clothes. So, anyways, I know y'all want me out here dirty. Like, do my moisturizer. You guys, so, I am just so happy to finally get a night out. Well, I've been, I went out to dinner, but I haven't been like out, out, like in these streets, like since the winter time like really hit. Cause I'm the type of person, I really don't like to like go to clubs in the winter because it's just so cold and i have always been this way i've never been really big on like wintertime partying because you just you can't be cute you can be cute you know clothes like for sure but like you just can't be like you know really just have the range to wear whatever you want to wear i just feel like in the summertime you can go any direction you know so but the wintertime is either you know you try to be out here half naked baby you might catch a cold in your ass so um i'm definitely going to make sure i'm warm honestly i think i'm going to end up doing the black outfit from amazon because that's going to be a good outfit to just transition through the night so i don't feel like i'm like you know overdress or underdress i don't i won't feel that way so we're just gonna randomly like talk for a little bit because i feel like i really never do that with you guys so y'all that netflix special uh that everybody been talking about on um on instagram twitter like everywhere the tender swindler i watched that the second day it was on netflix and my personal take on that situation is that it could never be me like it could never be me and it never will be me i do feel in a sense sorry for these women and what they went through oh you guys my foundation i'm putting on tonight is the georgia armani luminous silk i have the color 7.75 so i was just so shocked to see that these women let some billionaire take advantage of them to this extent i feel like if you are a billionaire there is no reason you should be asking little old me for my coins like what do you need my coins for like for the first woman the one that was looking at apartments and things like that i felt like in a sense she first off wanted to prove herself you know you know i'll be there for you through your ups and your downs whatever whatever about how he got her was the fact that he love bombed her like she was desperate in a sense like for me i feel like with that first woman it just reeked of desperation like 
it's just like it was seeping out of for out of her pores how desperate she was for love like it was just coming out of her pores and honestly i feel like that made her a very easy target because let's be real as a woman a man can smell desperation they can smell when you are you know vulnerable like so vulnerable that you're willing to not even properly vet someone before you give your all to us give your all to this person she was too eager for this this too good to be true type of situation because look we all know the saying if it's too good to be true honey it usually is it usually is so the fact that she honestly probably sensed that it was too good to be true but she didn't want to see it as that way she wanted to see that she would be the exception that she would be special and that led her down this rabbit hole of lies and on top of that it only took 30 some odd days before this man started asking you for money this man had this poor girl out here looking for apartments he was playing a role he was playing the role he was dedicated to the character okay i would give him that he was constant in communication the calls the text messages the videos the voice notes the facetime like how did he find the time how do you have enough time in a day to be doing this to multiple women like the man had a system going now with this second woman she wasn't even romantically linked to him she put him in the friend zone so she friend zoned him or whatever how do you still allow yourself to get got because he took you on this crazy summer experience so you felt like you owed him something he tells you the same story he told to the, the first girl his enemies what else peter got beat up blah, blah, blah. i wouldn't even care i wouldn't even care about his enemies and peter getting beat up that's not any of my business don't involve me or my wallet in any of that she used up her hard-earned money that she has saved up to buy herself a home to send to him you sent every single dime you had for a home to him because of course he's a billionaire right so he has the money to send it back like that's that's besides the point like so what if he's a billionaire he should be able to contact someone else that has more lucrative funds than you and the part that threw me is that these women took out loans as well not only did you give him your credit cards your cash that you had in your accounts but then you start taking out loans people get so fooled by the cars the clothes they get fooled by what they're seeing in front of them you're looking at the surface level on what he's presenting to you that's all you're seeing you're not asking no questions none of that you just see this illusion of a life that he's giving you if he was claiming to be the son or nephew or whatever of this diamond family don't you think that would have been easily confirmed because you can't just tell me you are all tycoon without proving to me that you are all tycoon like <laughs> i'm need to see some proof but overall i feel like these women allowed themselves to be extremely gullible except for the last woman that end up you know scamming him out of his uh legitimate i guess i would say his his real clothes his actual real designer clothes because what he gave that other girl um a fake rolex or a fake um a fake richard millie he gave her something that was fake he gave her some what watch that when she went and got into praise it wasn't even worth anything i mean even at one point he told one of the women to sell her house and her car i mean he was trying to leave her with nothing he was trying to ring shorty dry like what the audacity for a man to tell you to sell your car, sell your home, sell your body. <laughs> I'm adding on the extra part. He didn't tell them to sell their body. But he might as well at that point because, hell, she would have to do that. She wouldn't have had nothing. My thing is, ladies, anybody that's a real billionaire, 
millionaire. They will never, ever, ever ask you for money. Any man that asks you for money too soon, that's a red flag. You need to be exiting. Any man that's showing you a little bit too much attention or a little bit too much of anything, like it's just beyond your even your comfortability level, that's a red flag. Because it's like, what are you up to? What are you up to? That's my main question. What are you up to? Why are you trying so hard to... Because, I mean, we've all had a man show us interest. We know what regular old interest looks like. You know, we know what that looks like. But, yeah. I mean, I feel like there's so much more I could say about that documentary. But, yeah, that one overall, that had me in a chokehold. I watched that documentary about um, three times because... I feel like documentaries like that, you have to watch them more than once to really get the full, you know, perspective on, I don't know why my makeup looks so bright, but my makeup is not that bright. It's just these lights, y'all. My makeup is not this bright. But I feel like movies like that, you just got to watch more than once. Let's talk about Kanye. Let's talk about Kanye, y'all. Let's talk, let's talk about Kanye. Personally, I like Kanye. I like Kanye. I like his music. He is a true artist like a true artist, not um, somebody that just puts out BS type of music, like he's a true artist. So I really, really like Kanye. But what he's going through with his divorce from Kim is sad. It's very sad. Um, I don't agree with what he's doing as far as like the social media, harassment i i mean it's even a little bit much for me i feel like you know third hand embarrassment it's not even my situation you know i understand you want to keep your marriage you know who like most people want to try to work on their marriage as much as possible before they let it go but kim doesn't she's done with the marriage she's done with him and it's like i don't think he's crazy like i really don't i just think he wants to keep his relationship with Kim. I think he wants to keep his marriage. I think he wants to salvage his marriage. I think he wants, you know, a healthy household. I think he wants all of that. But I feel like once someone has shown you, which she has, that they are one, checked out of the marriage, two, taking steps to dissolve the marriage, and three, which is most importantly, has moved on, not silently, but publicly. I think it's time to let that go. I think honestly in Kanye's mind, he feels like he elevated Kim. And I feel like he kind of has. I definitely feel like he helped Kim with her style for sure. I really love how she dresses now. Back in the day, I really didn't care for how she dressed. Even though it was the air, she still wasn't like, a fashion icon she wasn't somebody people look to for inspo now one thing i feel like people have to keep in mind is that none of us knows what goes on behind the scenes we don't know how kim is behind the scenes we don't know how kanye is behind the scenes all we know is what they decide to put out there into the public that's all we know that's all we can judge we can't judge them behind closed doors all we can do is judge from what we see so this is the two-piece set you guys don't mad my tab bottle. I'm wearing this the whole entire night because I just don't have time to be trying to switch outfits and stuff like that. But yeah, this is the outfit. Okay, real cute. My pop homes. Okay, and I think I'm gonna take my heels and my boots with me because yeah, that's just what I want to do. So yeah, outfit check. All right, y'all. So this is my scent for tonight. I'm blowing my Hermes Twilly. Um, yeah, this actually sticks really, really good. So, yeah, this is what I'm wearing. And then I did my Onya candy. You guys, I gotta hurry up and get out of here. So, I'm gonna see you guys once we get to our destination. Oh 
rabbits are easy to feed. Like they meal is what? I feel Fifteen dollars. Did they have to charge you to get a? Uh, they don't know about how to do it. Know about what? About they they yeah, charge you right? for? Mm -mm. No, you know I'm saying. Where y'all at? Where y'all ain't invite me out to eat? We okay. that's we what I'm going to do. Where y'all go? Uh, okay. Full ten kitchen. Market. Oh, was it good? She ain't like it. <laughs> I ain't like I'm it. <laughs> oh, okay, well y'all. Well, Jeez, why you ain't gonna use it with us? Ask her. Yeah, we about to, we leaving out the way. Ask her. Cause I like called her to tell me about Houston and yeah, we didn't we get. Talked about when you were going that there. was not really my yeah. trip to be, that was Ellie. Look at Aisha Bay, y'all. We had talked about it already Look though. But she so gonna be doing it though. You. I like to wear sneakers, boots, I'm a. I feel like you person. always been like a sneakers, boots yeah, girl. Yeah, that's me. Like if you like. I can't do it, then that my don't right. I can't. Some feet, I'm gonna say. I'm about to say, some, some, shoes, like, some shoes, no. Like, but some heels are pretty, but it's rare. It's very rare. 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 So shoes. I just don't fuck with it. I, I feel like ever since I know you've always been a sneakers. So you like, if you can do sneakers and boots, then you gonna do sneakers and boots. Yeah, I love fucking sneakers. Like, I'm a sneaker. Yeah, you look at you. I started calling some today. <laughs> I'm like, let me be a little dressed up. I ain't gonna put no sneakers on. You got to be out here. Me and Tamisha made us some freaking content. Don't play with us. Period. We got one day. Cause I'm like, how you take a picture of that? That's why I asked you, like, where you at? I thought you was changed already. So me and Tisha been needing to go out for a while. We ain't never have our little dinner. I, I be chasing how my damn. How long have that happened? I don't we know. Been, how long have I been chasing you down? A long time. <laughs> it was I'm like, I'm like, I had on some best leggings, and it had all my sides out, and then I had a mesh top, but the flow wasn't right. She was like, yeah, I don't like that, mommy. That's I wish too you much. Sense. So then, oh, she I'm like, this on, I'm like, you gonna say this too much, ain't you? She gonna say, yeah, but it's cute. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> then I put on this holy outfit, but I ain't had the right pants, so I couldn't, like, it was a holy jumpsuit. But you ain't wearing no pants. Ooh, right. Let me show you this. I'm, I'm like, no I'm like nah, so I couldn't do that. Sometimes, I'm not good with just wearing no pants outside. I don't know why. Me neither. I, I got like, to have on something. I don't like it, because I feel like, my, I don't be feeling good at Me anywhere. neither. Me I neither. Should. I don't know when you gonna go on vacation, but you need you one of these. You need you this particular outfit. <laughs> Girl, you gonna try that right there and that? Girl, I, look. Ooh, I like this is all mesh. This is all mesh. With Super. a thong. Oh, 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 this one's yes, baby. Don't tell me about Oh, let me show you what I had on. You know, you know she want to grease me. Yes. She about to be a grease. Girl, I'm already right. right. coming me. Me by my own things. We can stop in the No, I still got some other stuff on order. It's the next day, you guys. I am literally rushing. I mean, what's new nowadays? What's new? Last night was cool. As you guys saw, I went out with a couple friends, whatever, whatever. Before I go ahead and like basically tell you guys what happened last night, I'm about to put on my eye patches because, yo, they're very much needed. So I've been trying out these Derma E Vitamin C Bright Eyes Eye Patches. I'm gonna tell y'all the whole story right here real quick. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm, I'm gonna finish getting ready. So long story short, we went out to, uh, what's that club called? The Light, The Lit, whatever. We went out to the club last night. My friend ended up getting bottle service or whatever so you know that was cool oh this is how the eye patches look they smell like they don't smell like anything and they come with this little spatula or whatever so you can like scoop them up and then like put them on the nightclub was cool it wasn't like you know it was cool it wasn't like overly crowded i mean it was definitely a crowd there but it wasn't like you know it wasn't one of those 
super lit night. The end of the night comes, right? And we're all heading out the door. And it was just like a little, ha little hallway area before you go down the stairs and head out the door. So me and one of the girls were standing there waiting on our friend. So we're waiting on our friend Lauren to reappear so we can go out the door. Next thing you know, this guy comes up, this little short guy, and I had on heels at that, so I knew he was short. So this guy comes up to me and like grabs me by the arm so aggressively. Like when I say my man's had a death grip on my arm, like I could feel the blood like stopping in my arm. He had such a tight grip on me. He sits up here, start whispering in my fucking ear. Tom Bowson, oh, I got this, this, this event going on and I would love to email you about it and da, 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 da. And I'm like, huh, really not interested at all. I'm just trying to get home. But y'all know how these guys is nowadays. They don't handle rejection well. Their response to rejection is to be violent towards you in a sense or insult you that's either way it's gonna go men and their egos are so fragile nowadays it's like this generation of men they feel so entitled to a woman's time and they just don't know how to accept rejection i pull up my email go to compose so he can type his email address into the box right friend like i hand him the phone and he's standing right here my friend's friend is standing in front of me and me and her are talking i'm just like hey like where's lauren it's time to roll out of here whatever whatever <laughs> like where is she at she's like girl i don't know but you know i think she went to you know back inside to go do whatever whatever and i'm like okay i glance down and over the rim he's in my freaking text messages when i say I snatched that phone out of his hand so fast. Y'all know how that be when you snatch your phone out of somebody's hand? You like Houdini. Where did it go? Okay? You become a magician when somebody is somewhere they're not supposed to be in your phone. Sir, what are you doing? What are you? Why are you in my text messages? How did you get from a composed email pull up to my text messages? Long story short, the man was trying to steal my phone number. He was going to text himself and then turn around and think I'm gonna be responsive. I wasn't interested in whatever you're talking about, but it's the fact that you have the audacity to have to use tactics to get a woman's phone number like you weak. I think any man that feels like he has to call himself, text himself, all that, you lame. You're like, you're, you're, you're lame. You're lame, okay? So, you know how guys is, you coming at them, their manhood or whatever. He, all of a sudden, he starts, he starts throwing insults at me. And I'm just like, deflecting much? Like, <laughs> deflecting much? You're gonna throw insults at me after you just got caught being in my phone? weird okay honestly i go out just to have a good time i don't go for me personally i feel like even if i were looking to date i would not be in the club looking for mr right i'm sorry like let me tell you something the club that's not where you find love <laughs> you will not find love in the club okay yeah you guys that's basically what happened last night as far as like you know you know club stuff like club situations um i honestly i've been in a lot of club situations i could oof, i can go on for days about how, how much crap i've been in but let me tell y'all something ladies um nowadays like i told y'all men have very fragile egos if you're ever in a situation where you do not feel safe with giving a man your phone number what you can always do is just give it to him even if you don't want to talk to them, just give it to them and block them. That's it. That's all. That's all you got to do. And then leave it at that. I mean, I've done it plenty of times. You know, I'm walking by myself. Man X for my phone number. Really not interested. Give it to them anyways. Block them as soon as I, not as soon as I walk off, but like as soon as I'm like far, like far out of view and like on my path, block them. And you're going to never hear from me. Or what I need to actually do, get a fake phone number memorize it and you can give it out and still block them that way too so yeah 
but I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting ready. All right, guys, so this is today's outfit. I'm gonna go ahead and put on. I already showed this in a vlog the other day, but yeah, I'm just gonna keep it really simple because I mean, yeah, it's gonna be like a cute girl's day. I'm trying to decide if I wanna do boots or heels. I'm not sure. I don't know, I'm gonna figure it out. Yeah, this is what we're doing. Yeah. I like it. Nice, comfy, cute. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. I end up doing a glossy. I end up doing a glossy lid today. Because, yeah, I just want to keep my skin. You know, just keep the focus on my skin for today. And of course, like I said, same day from yesterday. Because I just don't feel like thinking. And it goes with the outfit. It goes with my shoes. You know? It goes with the flow. So. Over Cooper's Hall. Oh, I absolutely like the options more than this. Yeah. Here's what the black man. But it ain't kind of candy. Mm -hmm. Girl, thank you. Black man. That you want me to get a little bit of that pink? Go ahead, do it. Yes. I'm, I'm going to mix it. I'm going to mix it. I thought you were going to be a genius. Oh, no. I'm, dri <laughs> hey, I'm driving. If I wasn't driving, you know, I'm going to Right. And grab it. Right. It's <laughs> <That's> funny. <laughs>